Thomas Burke heads up the Irish mob and they're based out of a section of the city called Point Verdun. After Sal betrays Lincoln and kills Sammy Nellis, he knows that he needs more than just Cassandra's help, so he contacts Thomas Burke. He's just a really fun character. He's just got a crazy mouth on him. He spent kind of his life drinking and indulging in every kind of vice you can imagine. And at the same time, it's kind of left a toll on him personally and professionally. One of the side effects of that kind of got him into hot water with Sal Marcano. Because of this, he needs to be punished. So Sal sends in a guy named Roman the Butcher Barbieri who takes takes a uh, crowbar to Burke's left leg and permanently cripples him. Burke is kind of at the lowest point of his life right now. His son was murdered, he doesn't have any territory any longer, and he's feeling pretty impotent. When Lincoln comes along, there's an opportunity to get some payback and also get a little bit more of that power that he used to have before. Ever since then, Burke has been basically looking for a way to kind of get back, at first at the good side of Marcano, and then eventually when he realizes that that's not going to work out, he just wants to take him out altogether. And part of that is exacting a horrific revenge on the butcher. In fact, that's contingent upon him agreeing to assist Lincoln. When it comes time to deal with the butcher, Burke wants to handle that himself. 